Hola a todos. Hi, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Vanessa Zuniga Tinsaray, and I'm from Ecuador. 18 years ago, I started a personal project called Crónicas Visuales de la Via Yala. In it, I try to reinterpret the visual signs of the ancestral cultures of Latin America and transform them into graphic systems that uh, include typography, uh, pattern forms, illustrations. They were materials I used to visually narrate a way of seeing uh, these people see uh, the world. I thank uh, all team uh, typographics for the invitation to share uh, with you a little um, about the Shuar culture uh, that, that inhabits uh, the Ecuadorian Amazon. Ecuador, along with eight other South American countries, share the Amazon rainforest. In Ecuador, there are 14 uh, indigenous nationalities and 18 native uh, peoples. 11 of these nationalities live in the Amazon. One of them is the Shuar. The native Amazonian people have a holistic vision of the Mother Earth. We are all part of her. Their life is focused on caring for using the earth in a respectful way, which sustains life in their territories and ensures a life of harmony to secure the continuity of the living forest. The living forest recognizes the indigenous territories as living territories and reaffirms the importance of the connection of human beings to the earth. Who should decide the future of the Amazon? The future of our people? Of our languages? Of the jaguars and the anaconda? Of the spirits living within our lands? Should the loggers get to decide the fate of our forests? Should the oil executives decide the future of our rivers? We've been protecting our sacred lands for thousands of years so that our children and your children may live on a healthy planet. Today, we are fighting for our right to protect a forest that gives us all life. Our battle is about who should decide the future of our forest homelands. Those who destroy it, or those who protect it. Join us. I, I hope when you finish watching uh, it, you will feel the same as I do, the need to protect it. Uh, I want to thank uh, the organization Amazon Frontlines and especially Nicolas Kichman for allowing me to share it uh, with you. Uh, Nunca Anen is the name of the Taifes family uh, I want to share with you today. It is dedicated to the air spirit Nunkui, a powerful figure that represents fertility, the land, the woman, and who controls harvest, scarcity, abundance, and hunger. The Anen is a chanted prayer as a form of communication between human and non-human entities to invoke the benevol benevolent <laughs> uh, help of the spirits 
or to call the soul of loved ones uh, who are far away. The cosmolo cosmological concept of the Shuar world is animistic. Ancestors and supernatural beings appear in the form of different spiritual phenomena as animals or as human. In the spiritual imaginary, there is a central entity, Arutan. It has an enormous transformative power, exists in form of different spiritual beings. Uh, the main ones are Etza, Nunkui, Tsunki, and Shakain. It can also manifest as the spirit of an ancestor, an animal, or a plant. In the Shuar worldview, the human being, uh, his environment, and the souls of the deceased are part of the magical universe of the spirits. Communication between human and non-human entities is based mostly on the ancestors who use animals, dreams, or souls as career messages. Uh, the native cultures have a special bond with textiles. So I focus on the fibers that are intertwined in it to obtain the two models that are the matrix of the entire graphic system. Um, likewise, uh, one of the things uh, things uh, that identify the original Shuar people uh, are their facial painting. Uh, they are geometrical design in which the presence of the Holy Spirit, Arutan, manifests under its different forms. Uh, the, fa the facial paintings uh, symbolize direct communication with Arutan. A specific design are painting the, depending on the activity they are going to perform uh, or the spirit they wish to invoke. The most common symbols that represent the powers of Arutan uh, are the anaconda, the spear, and the jaguar. The anaconda represents the power of water, uh, the jaguar, the power, uh, power of the jungle, and the spirit relates uh, to life. From these concepts, I started to generate several sets of modules that allowed me to illustrate different narr narratives uh, about the Shuar people. I designed modular typefaces and patterns using processing uh, P5GS. In the following video, you can see the different pattern forms that resulted, as well as my experiments with them.
Uh, after this process, I asked myself uh, what would be a simple way to create several fonts that can complement it uh, by other fonts. I took the base uh, matrix design and divided it until I got several options that allow me to obtain the appropriate geometrical forms to build each letter. I can uh, then use them as multi-layers and uh, with the pattern forms. In the following video, I show you the, uh, the end results page of the books uh, dedicated to the Schwar uh, that someday I hope to publish. Posters uh, are then uh, designed with the display fonts, pattern fonts, uh, the text fonts, replete signs by Alejandro Paul from Argentina. Uh, as the video plays, I will tell you a little more about the different spirits uh, that Arutan can transform into. Remember that in the Schwar uh, Cosmovision or worldview, uh, the human being uh, his environment and the source of the disease are part of the magical universe of the spirits. Arutan can transform into the following. Etza is the spirit of the hunt, lord of the animals of the forest, and the strength the, to hunt them. Nunkui is the spirit that has power under the land I dedicate this typography family to it. The destruction of nature is weakening Nunkui as the spirit of food. Destruction um, is increasing the needs. New diseases manifest themselves, creating the risk that people will disappear. Sunki is the spirit of the waters, is the lord of the fish. He gives the Uwishin or Shaman, the power to cure the sick, helping him to expel the disease and illnesses that afflict them. And finally, Shakain is the spirit of the work, is the lord of the trees, represents the force that organizes the jungle forest. He teaches the Shuar the management and use of the jungle ecosystem in a rational way through sustainable work. Um, people are not born with, with an Arutan spirit, but have to acquire it according to traditional rites in special places. In their adult stage, uh, they resort to the help of hallucinations with the guidance, or guidance <laughs> of the wishing uh, or shaman. Uh, wishing is the same as shaman, but is uh, in the language of the Shuar. Uh, that is Shuar uh, Chichan. Okay. Uh, the Wuxin or Shaman through the taking of hallucinations comes in contact with the symbolic world upon entering this plane. 
The rate of the expulsion of the negative energy that causes imbalance is performed. The strength of the wishing lies in the, in the knowing which hallucinogenic plants help them recognize the, the symbols through which Arutan manifests itself. The activity of the wishing is used to cure or cause illnesses, and it is practiced usually by men. In this video, you can see my reinterpretation of this writ of expulsion through typography. I designed two patterns fonts based on the drink called ayahuasca or natin, and on the spears and an instrument of expulsion of negative forces. These pattern fonts can be used as multilayer to generate static or animated patterns behind or over the display fonts or other pattern fonts. This is my, it's like a, a typography, drink ayahuasca. Uh, finally, I come to one of the main reasons of, for wanting to make this typography family. In Ecuador, there is a collective called Amazonian Women, made up of women uh, from the villages that inhabit the Amazon. Each village has a leader uh, who is the visible face or they fight to defend their territory from extractive industries. It is not an easy fight because they put their lives in danger, they lead the marches, and are spokeswomen uh, for their community. The Monte Nenquimo um, of the Guarani people is one of the most recognized faces of this struggle. She wrote a letter to the night presidents of the governments that share the Amazon and stress that uh, if we don't understand what the living forest means, it's very likely that uh, we will destroy it without understanding the damage we cause. In their efforts or efforts, they only ask for respect, respect for the land, respect for the people who live in the Amazon. Alexandra Narvaez of the Aikofan people is a warrior. She is part of the Sinangoe Guard who defend their territory from illegal mining and concession made by the state for legal mining. Patricia Walinga, my heroine, uh, she has dedicated her life to defending the territories and rights of Sarayaku, a Quechua people of Ecuador uh, she was a very important influence for the birth of the Amazonian Women Collective in Ecuador. Finally, it is a poster that Maha Alcal uh, from Egypt and um, I designed in 2020 to participate in the Across Borders invitation from the Majuscula Studio in Spain, where we joined our two passions uh, to give visibility to Amazonian women, uh, the true guardians of the forest. Uh, the Amazonian women ask us finally how can we help the indigenous people need support to make the struggle visible they are in continuous legal battles um, they need lawyers doctors professors and designers to help them transmit their message of respect for the living forest. I share with you some accounts that you can follow to learn more about their struggle <coughs> and if you wish to support them. If you want to know more about my work, I invite you to follow me in Behance on Instagram on my website. And Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.